Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas day five. How is it already day five? I don't know. I've already been up for a while, but I've already had my coffee of the day. I haven't eaten though. And I wanna light this candle, but I was about to do it and then I remembered everyone was yelling at me because I guess I was supposed to trim the wicks. I've never heard that in my life. I mean, I think I have, I've just never done it. So I'm gonna do that right now. I thought we could make breakfast together because I'm not, I kind of want to make pancakes. And I've already, I made pancakes on my birthday, so I have like this whole box of pancake mix and I haven't used it since. So, pancakes, oh shit. What do we need again? Milk, vegetable oil, eggs. Yet again, I have to eyeball this recipe. I'm excited for today because I kind of have like no plans and this is the first day I think of Vlogmas that I've had no plans. It's no plans in the good way where we're gonna like do fun things because I want to go into town. I wanna go on walks. I wanna show you guys some places. I wanna go to the bookstores. I wanna buy a Christmas book. So we're gonna walk around downtown, explore, I'm gonna listen to my audiobook and then go book shopping. So I feel like it'll be like kind of fun, chill day. And then I wanna decorate my tree. But the problem with that is the bows that I ordered for my tree, cause I, like I said, I wanted to do bows all over it. They never came and they refunded me, which like thanks for the refund, but also annoying because I was waiting for so long for them to come. I would have just ordered something else if I knew they were never gonna come but it happens. So I think I might just go to like Michael's or something and buy ribbon and tie bows on my tree. I also might go to Trader Joe's tonight. I've been saying that every day and then I never go, but guys, you don't understand. The Trader Joe's by my house is, I think it's like the only one in a big radius. Like people travel far to come to this Trader Joe's and the parking lot is minuscule. Like there's never a spot. You have to wait for a spot and just drive in circles every single time. And then you get inside and it's filled with people. Like you are shoulder to shoulder in the aisles. Carts are hitting each other. It's so loud and chaotic. I'm like, it's worth it because it's Trader Joe's, but it is not a pleasant experience. So I kind of been putting it off. I think I eyeballed that good enough. So let's go over to the stove. I'm just gonna make one giant one. It's the only clean utensil I have. I also have to do my dishes. I feel like one thing about Vlogmas that I've noticed so far is it leaves very little time to get like boring tasks done. I feel like I usually have like a few hours a day where I just do like boring like maintenance stuff around the apartment, like cleaning up, laundry, dishes, cleaning and organizing in general. And then also doing just like boring stuff like my emails and taking out the recycling. But I haven't done any of that stuff since Vlogmas started. I literally need to respond to my emails so bad. So I also need to find some time to do that today. I'm adding the chocolate in here. Look at her. Well, let's see if I can successfully flip it. Okay, wait, that was so easy. That was so anticlimactic. I think it's ready. See, it always looks ready on the outside, but I'm never sure if the inside is actually done. But mukbang. Let's try this. I love pancakes so much. Whoever invented them deserves a fat kiss on the mouth. Mm. No, that's so good. I think I'm gonna answer some emails right now and then we'll get on with the day. I'm so annoyed right now. I was about to walk out the door and then I got a notification reminder on my calendar that I have a meeting at 2.30 that I completely forgot about. And I was like, okay, I'll just take the call while I'm walking. That's fine. It's over Google Meet, so I can't. So I just sit here for another half hour. I was so excited to leave for my walk and now the day is gonna be already over. By the time we leave the house, it's gonna be three o'clock and then it's dark by 4.30. Me realizing I have no idea how Google Meet works, like how do I join? It's stressing me out because I have two minutes to figure it out. And I was like, let me pull out my vlog camera instead of just figuring it out. But like there's no link on the calendar. I'm so confused. Okay, my phone call just ended. It was luckily pretty quick. But now I'm gonna pack a tote bag and we can go on our walk, finally. What bag should I bring? 
think I'm gonna go with old reliable classic. <laughs> Don't think I really need to bring much, but just in case, I'm gonna bring my book. I'm gonna bring my headphones. Might as well just bring my laptop because I don't know what I'm really doing. I don't think I'll stop and edit, but I could stop and edit. Bring that, AirPods, anything else? Oh, I need my adapter and my camera. Okay, let's go into town, go on a walk, go book shopping, and have ourselves a day, shall we? Okay, I'm walking to the first bookstore. Oh, I'm going to get hit by a car. I'm almost at the bookstore though. I've only been to this one one time. But this is the bookstore I'm gonna try first. Blue Bicycle Books, used rare and local. so cute in there and i love it but they did not have what i was looking for it's more what i said like local used books so they didn't have the new lucy score book so now i'm going to buxton books and i think they'll have it everything's decorated for christmas it's so cute i also love this record store the guy that works there is so cool last time i was there bought a bunch of zach ryan ride vinyls and that's where i found the taylor swift beautiful eyes vinyl he had everything in there it is so loud out here right now, so apologies if you cannot hear me. But I think I'm gonna get a matcha from this one place called The Rise that I love. I'm coming to Sephora to see if Kylie is working. Hello. Hi. Sorry. Kylie's working. She's a girl boss. Give me all my stuff. Oh, this is the lip liner I wanted to get. I probably never have them. Guys, I'm spending money. Kylie, she's a professional. She's really good at her job. Promote her. Everyone watch the lip Sephora. I was passing Sephora and I had to go in and see if Kylie was working. And luckily she was. Actually, not luckily because I ended up spending so much money. But she knows all the good makeup products. So I was like, um, actually tell me everything I need to get. I just got three things actually. Oh. Horse just casually interrupting me. I'm about to go get a matcha, like I was saying. Then go to the other bookstore. Okay, I'm jaywalking. This is one of my favorite coffee shops. <laughs> I got an iced oat milk vanilla matcha latte and their stuff is just so good every time I don't usually come here though because there's not that many places to sit there is outdoor seating but I always forget there's outdoor seating so I need to come here and get work done here outside Unfortunately, they also did not have it, but that place is also so cute. Um, so now I think I'm just gonna wander around a little bit, stroll and listen to my audiobook. I think we should try Barnes & Noble because I really want to get it. Look how cute the jelly cats. Mistletoe. Okay, I'm in my car now and I think I decided I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble because I just want to get that book Like now I'm determined how would I go to both bookstores downtown and neither of them had it I mean they are small bookstores to be fair So they just have like the popular books and I don't know if this book is popular. I just know it's a Christmas book um, So we're gonna drive to the town over and go to Barnes and Noble and then I thought you know It ends up working out perfectly because I can go to Barnes and Noble and then I can go right to Trader Joe's because they're in close proximity to each other so we can get both things done because I really need to grocery shop. Let's go to Barnes & Noble and then Trader Joe's. Oh, I need gas. Oh my God, I have 16 miles till empty. That's actually scary. Okay, I just got to Barnes & Noble. I literally got a front row spot I'm right here. Let's go in and see. I also went to my PO box and I had a bunch of stuff so we can do an unboxing when we get home. Jackpot. 
playing this one. There's low key so many Christmas ones that look good. They're also playing Christmas music. Looks like I have to get another book. Oh no. I got the last one. Look, out of all the Lucy score, I got the last one. I can't choose what other book I want. There's too many options. Oh my God. They have the new legacy cover. It's so cute. I got so dark out while I was in there. They cannot even see me. That's good enough. Book haul. Okay, I got two books because of the deal. Obviously, the one I came for, The Christmas Fix by Lucy Score. I literally got the last one in the whole store, and I'm very happy about that because if this was the third bookstore I went to today and they I didn't have it, I would have been upset. And then because there was a special going on, I could pick another book to get 50% off, and then I ended up choosing this one, another Christmas one. A very merry bromance and I've seen the bromance book club series in Barnes and Noble for like five years now and I always am intrigued by it and never buy them but my friend Casey loved the first one and she told me to read it so when I saw this I looked at the first one the first one wasn't on sale I think it was just like the Christmas books that were and a few random ones but I think it's interconnected standalones so I can read that one on its own and if I like that one then I'll start from the top but this one's Christmassy so I'm kind of excited about it so now I have two Christmas books even better now I could go to Trader Joe's do I want to not at all but am I going to I think so okay I just got to Trader Joe's I decided to commit I found a parking spot finally after driving around a little bit. Can you see the sign? I don't even know if you can see the sign. I think it's blocked actually, but I'm here. And what's not good is I'm coming here on a completely empty stomach. Like I'm starving right now. So I'm about to go feral. My goal is to buy Christmassy themed stuff. But when I said that in my fall video, I bought not one single fall related thing. So I'm going to do my regular shopping and then try like to find Christmassy stuff to do like taste test. But I'll give you a haul when I get home. And just as I suspected, I got absolutely nothing Christmassy because all the Christmas stuff didn't look that appealing. There honestly wasn't that much and all of it, I was like, I know that if I get this, I'm just gonna take a bite and then the rest of it's gonna be a waste, so I'm not doing that. So I got my favorites, cheddar puffs. I got two bags and I ate half of one on the way home. <laughs> there was actually traffic on the way home. I think there was a car accident on the bridge. So we, I was stuck in standstill traffic. Like literally not even moving. And I was starving, so. Then, my favorite thing ever. Crunchy curls. If you haven't tried these, you need to try them. And they're not gonna hit the first time, but all the times after that, you're gonna start craving them. Cause it's the texture. It's the texture, okay? You don't wanna know a funny story. Last night on the way to Taylor Swift PowerPoint night, me and Kylie were talking about how much we love crunchy curls. We were going on and on. We were like, we fantasize about them. We drool over them. If we don't have them in our house, it's gonna be a bad day, and then we go get them. We're both bonding over our love of crunchy curls. And then, I'm there buying my crunchy curls. Guess who's right behind me? Kylie buying crunchy curls. How funny is that? So I just saw her at Sephora, and then I see her again at Trader Joe's. I got some broccoli because I have this sauce from Trader Joe's I got last time. It's so good, I've gotten it before. But I had nothing to pair it with besides rice, so I wanted to get like a vegetable. Then I got mini cucumbers. I love dipping these in hummus, which I have some hummus, so that's perfect. I got some vodka pasta sauce because I have pasta, but no sauce. And then the last thing I got was some grapes. Because I love having cold, crunchy grapes throughout the day. It's just the best snack. Oh, I totally forgot I bought this yesterday and then we never ate them. So I have another bag of popcorn. Wow, I have a lot of snacks. Anyways, I also didn't show you guys what I got at Sephora. So first I got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray, the travel one. Never used, but highly recommended, so it was good. Then I got the Rare Beauty Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter. I just swatched it in the store and it looked so, so pretty. 
I needed it immediately. And then I got the Refi Lip Sculpt, which is like a lip liner in the shade Fawn. So I'll have to try that. I haven't tried any of these, so if I start looking really good after this video, it's probably one of, the, one of these products. Then I also went to my P.O. box, so we can go over here little P.O. box unboxing. So I got some letters, which I'll obviously open, but I also got some packages. So this is Owl Crate on the side. Oh, 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 I remember what this is. It has those little things I hate on top, but it also has a bunch of books. Oh my God, look in this. That's so exciting. Whoa, are these like special editions? Before I get into that, there's a box that says Owl Crate on it. I do remember them reaching out to me, so I'm excited. These are the most beautiful books I've ever seen. Starling House by Alex E. Harrow. Harrow. And look at it, it's shiny, and the inside has art. They must do like special editions. I'm about to go on their Instagram. Yeah, monthly subscriptions and exclusive editions for YA and adult fantasy book owls. Okay, and they're all like wrapped, so I have to like unwrap them all before I show you. Very careful not to actually cut the book. Then this is Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare. Again, shiny, painted edges, a map inside. This has convinced me to get in my fantasy era because these are insane. Okay, this is Masters of Death by Olive e. Blake. Did she write Alone With You in the Ether? I think she did. Fall of Ruin and Wrath by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Oh, I've read from this art author before, but never any of her fantasy books. You should have known better than to run. I will always catch you. Oh, that's a good quote. This is Alcray exclusive signed edition. A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. Oh my God, it is signed. Alcray, I love you. Thank you. I'm putting these on display on my shelf. Let's put them on. I'm gonna put them here. But like, I want the painted edges to be able to be seen, but I don't know how to display it like that. So for now, I'm gonna put them like that. Oh, from Sly Beauty. Oh, they're like makeup bags. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is so nice to travel with. And it says you can use code STEPH20 for 20% off. It's not sponsored, but if you need new makeup bags. Wait, there's stuff in here. A makeup brush case. Oh, this is really nice to have. Big mirror to travel with. Oh my God, I'm gonna use this so much. Thank you. And then there's also two clear ones. Now let's open these letters. This one's so cute. Thank you, Faiza. I loved your letter. She said, have you ever read Sarah J Mass? Throne of Glass series. I've always been curious. No, I've never read anything by that author, but I think in the new year I will get into fantasy. I'm sorry. I know I always say it. It's just so scary to me because I know it's going to overtake my whole personality and I'm not ready for new obsessions. Like, I'm just not mentally ready for all that. Thank you so much for writing. Next letter. Oh my god. Sparkles. Look at that. It says two stuff. Thank you, Peyton Faith. That was so sweet. I appreciate you. And this is adorable. Oh, this is so cute. It's like a little Taylor Swift postcard, but this was from Jazz. Thank you. And she sent me one of her from the vault Taylor things and a Harry sticker. My two faves. Last letter. It's a big envelope. Oh, and then there's a mini letter inside. Cute. Look, it's like three bracelets in one and it says peace. Oh my God, perfect handwriting. She has an Etsy where she sells bracelets like this. It's right here. Thank you so much and good taste because she said Peace is also one of her favorite songs. Please look at what my brother just texted me. He has no idea what window he just opened because I'm about to go off and explain the entire the Betty Cardigan August trilogy to him. Someone simply telling me they like a Taylor Swift song me explaining the entire backstory even though they do not care nor did they ask i'm so mad at myself i'm so stupid i'm so dumb <sighs> i forgot the one thing i really wanted to do was go get the ribbon to decorate my tree how did i forget i was literally right next to the store okay well guess we're not doing that today I'm turning on my lights though i also need to get a tree topper i need to go to target or something when i was at walmart or target wherever i was all the tree toppers were ugly. Like I want one that lights up. And I looked on Amazon and all of them don't come till like Christmas. So I can't wait that long. I always forget like Amazon Prime does not exist leading up to holidays. Like leading up to Halloween, 
there's gonna be no costumes and nothing Halloween related available on Prime. Leading up to Christmas, there's gonna be nothing Christmassy on Prime. It's my favorite time of the day. Nothing brings me so much joy as to knowing my tasks are done for the day. And you know, wanna know what I just did? I just edited today's entire video or tomorrow's entire video. Like I, the video you're watching, I just sat down and spent an hour editing it. And it only took me like an hour. Actually, it took me like an hour and a half. But I'm so happy that that's done because then tomorrow morning I'm gonna have so much less to do and we can actually have a full day. But now it's reading time. I'm like halfway. You definitely can't see. You're so far away. Why are you so far away? Guys, I think I just saw a bug. Yeah, I'm scared. Where did it go? Am I hallucinating? I'm scared. No, because I'm traumatized because when there was a palmetto bug in my room, it flew at me. I didn't know those things could fly. Wait, did I just hallucinate? Or is there a giant bug? I'm really scared. Where the hell did that go? Because I, I know I just saw something. I don't want to search for it. Should I just pretend I never saw anything? What I was trying to say is I'm like halfway through and I'm loving so far. But he's obsessed with her. I kind of like it. But yeah, I'm going to read now. And hope I don't get attacked by bug. I'm gonna make a hot chocolate again tonight. Did I have one last night? No, I didn't. Hot chocolate. Oh, I haven't asked you guys a question of the day in this video. What should our question of the day be? Also, I'm trying to, a new way of doing this by putting the cocoa powder in and then putting it in the microwave. Because last time there was like chunks when I put it in after. And then yesterday I asked what your Myers-Briggs personality type was and everyone's been answering and I've been reading about it. It's very interesting. So what should our question of the day be today? Oh, I know what it was gonna be. I was gonna ask it when I was doing my book haul and I completely forgot. What book are you currently reading and are you reading any holiday themed books leading up to the holidays? Like do you have a holiday TBR? Are you already reading a holiday book? What is your current read? Okay, give me your current read and whether or not you're reading any holiday books. My current read is Check and Mate by Allie Hazelwood and the holiday book I'm gonna read is The Christmas Fix and probably the other one too, A Very Merry Romance. That's my question today. What are you reading right now and who gave you that recommendation? Like where did you find the book? Or did you just see it on the shelf and picked it up? Did you judge a book by its cover? Has it been something you've had for a long time? Did your mom tell you to read it? Did your sister tell you to read it? Did someone on social media tell you to read it? I'm curious where you guys get your recommendations because I feel like I don't really give that many recommendations anymore because I don't watch book videos. I get all my recommendations from friends, mostly my friend Ellie. Now my friends in Charleston, all of them read. So a lot of my recs are from them. Occasionally I'll see something on TikTok. And then other than that, I just read books from authors I know I like and stuff I have in my physical TBR. I guess there's a lot of different ways, but I don't really watch recommendations. Wow, I just talked for the full two minutes. But yeah, please answer down below. I genuinely read all your guys' answers whenever you answer the questions. And then after we drink hot chocolate, I can answer my question of the day. I haven't even picked one yet. You guys ask such good questions. Remember to leave one in the comments of today's video to answer in tomorrow. Okay, that definitely worked way better. Putting the powder in first. Cheers. Mmm. I just realized that tomorrow is my last day in Charleston, not ever. <laughs> on Thursday, I'm flying to New York and I'm staying with my best friend. I'm so excited. Every time that I hang out with her, like we never get like uninterrupted time. We never get to like have consecutive sleepovers and I'm sleeping there from Thursday to Sunday. So you're gonna get New York content, guys. It's gonna be so fun, New York at Christmas. I know I was just there for Thanksgiving, but it was different because it was like family time. This is like New York Christmas. I'm so excited and I'm so excited for it to be part of Vlogmas. But yeah, tomorrow's my last day home, so I have a lot of shit to get done. But I'm gonna finish my hot chocolate and continue reading right now because Check In Mate is really good. <laughs> okay, I've just been reading and then I also went and cut my nails, all my acrylics off finally. I mean, they're not off, I just cut them short and painted over them this silver color. The amount of nail changes I've had the past few days, I needed to get rid of the long nails. They were so outgrown that I was scared I was gonna jam them and it was gonna break off, so I just like chopped them. And I think this is gonna be the end of the video. Oh my God, it's 11.30? Why did I think it was like 9.30? Oh my God, I'm usually asleep by now. Anyways, it's question time. I went and found a question from at Bella1. 
B-E-1-L-A-A-1. What has changed the most about you from your high school self to now? And this can make me do some self-reflection, but I feel like so much of me has changed since high school. Like, I feel like I'm a completely different person. Like, when I look at Snapchat memories or pictures and videos from 2015 to, like, 2019, I genuinely do not know that girl. Like, it feels like such a different person. And I thought I was so grown up and mature but I, I was just a kid. I was definitely a lot more insecure in who I was, which I think a lot of high schoolers are. I wasn't like open about the fact that I was insecure. It was like, outwardly, I'm so confident, I'm so cool. Basically putting on like this persona of someone I was not. Like I feel like I acted super like tough and like I didn't care about anything or anyone. Nothing hurt my feelings, which wasn't true. Everything hurt my feelings. I just wanted people to think that because that was what was cool. I wasn't outwardly expressive about any of my passions in high school. Like I was such a fangirl in middle school. And then as soon as you get to high school, like that was not cool anymore. So I think I just like really suppressed that part of myself and I like internalized it. And I didn't talk about anything I actually liked. Like it, I was more caught up in the high school, like drama boys parties who's cool who's not cool i mean i was not cool but i want it to be <laughs> and like now i'm so the opposite like i know i'm not cool and i'm proud i like being a person that stays home all day reading books over analyzing taylor swift lyrics and going to harry styles concerts and i like that about myself now that's my favorite part about myself and back then it was like what i was ashamed of and i wanted to be cool so bad and i think that's definitely what changed the most is like my need to seem cool. And what's so funny is as soon as I gave up, like not gave up on that, but like in college when I realized like there's no popular people, you don't have to work to get people like you to be popular anymore, which I was never popular in the first place, start there. But I feel like once you get to college and that kind of all goes away, I started realizing who I actually was and who I wanted to be. And I think until like, I think COVID literally made me who I am. Like I'm honestly grateful for that time as depressing as it was because we were all sent home and I just had time to like reevaluate my whole life and like sit with myself and figure out who I was and what I enjoyed. And there was no outside pressure telling me what I could like or not like because I was in my parents' house by myself. And that's when I started talking about books. I started talking about things I cared about on social media because no one from school could like make fun of me because we weren't in school. And it gave me like a confidence boost. And then from that point on, I just didn't care anymore. And now I have no desire to be the cool girl. I literally just want to be who I am. And ever since I had that mindset change, I actually gained a following once I stopped trying to be cool. Funny how that works. You really do just have to, if you're in high school right now, literally please just be yourself, okay? Like I'm telling you, like, especially in the era when I was in high school, like I feel like the era of like 2015, 2016, 2017, like that was such like a, a different time period, different universe. Like it feels like everything was so like, I don't even know how to explain that time period, but like, if you know, you know, it was like the trenches. I get the ick or like I get embarrassed thinking about people that knew me in high school that I haven't seen since high school, in their head, I'm still the person that I was in high school, which I love the girl I was in high school. Like I wasn't a bad person. I just was so insecure and like wanted to be liked and be impressive and get validation from others because I wasn't validated within myself and I wasn't confident within myself. I love her and I look out for her and I feel bad for her. But anyway, I get the ick thinking about people that knew me then still think of me like that because they don't know who I am anymore. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> like, that is so embarrassing. The personality I had, like I wanted to be like a cool party girl. That just wasn't me. Or not that I was even a party girl. And that is a very, very big exaggeration. But like I wanted to like get invited to parties and I wanted to be cool. That was what was considered cool you know, at the time. And now what I consider cool is me sitting in my Snuggie, reading my book, hanging out by myself. I still do want to be liked. I'm still a people pleaser, but it's not in the same way. Like I will not 
change who I am to fit in with other people. I'd rather be who I am and find people that are like me. That is definitely what has changed the most. And I think that's just a part of growing up. But if you're in high school right now or younger, take my advice when I tell you it might seem embarrassing or whatever. But I do think this new age, like 2019 to like now, People are so much more accepting of the things I think are fun now. Like now reading is cool. Taylor Swift is cool. Harry Styles is cool. But like in my day, hell no. If you said you liked one of those things, you are a loser, a loser. And you're getting called a loser and no one's gonna talk to you. I'm just kidding. But like you, it definitely was not the same. Don't be ashamed to talk about what you're passionate about. Find people that are the same as you, that are like-minded. Honestly, it will make you so much happier than trying to get the validation of cool people who you aren't even similar to. Take it from me. I've been there. I wanted these people in high school to like me so bad. Like, I didn't even like them. Like, <laughs> why do they care? So weird. High school is such a weird time. So yeah, that's definitely changed the most from high school till now. Growing up, and like getting to the point of like adulthood is just reverting back to the things you loved when you were 11, but with no shame. When I was in middle school and I had a One Direction folder and I had to hide it because people would bully me, but it was like my prized possession. And now I'm telling 600,000 people. It's really crazy to look back on too. Like I just like don't recognize who I was because I feel like I had no identity. Like I didn't know who I was or who I wanted to be or who I was gonna become because I was being so easily not influenced because I still made good decisions. I didn't do anything stupid, but I was just very impressionable. Basically, I just don't change who I am to impress other people or to get other people to like me. I just am who I am and I found people who are so similar to me because I'm expressive of who I am. And that is what makes life great, is having friends that are like you instead of friends that you are trying to be like. Thank you for that question. That made me really self-reflect. I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm tired, it's almost midnight. I'm gonna go crawl in bed and go to sleep. If you wanna follow me on my other social medias, they're all linked down below as always. And I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.